Wait, what? Oh no. Rap Fire TV. <laughs> now we all know rapper Lil Dirk from Chicago was arrested by authorities for an alleged murk for hire. Authorities claim rapper Lil Dirk orchestrated a hit on a fellow rapper, Rondo Rondo, back in 2022 with a failed attempt on the rapper's life. And although Quando Rondo survived the alleged hit, his family member didn't and passed away. So now authorities have pinned Lil Durk to the situation. Durk's homie from Atlanta, Rollo, claims people are making him pick sides between him and Rondo. But Rollo claims they're both his brothers. But who the hell asked Rollo? Fish craze. Hey man. When it comes to Dirk and Quando Rondo beef, I don't have to choose sides because we as Muslims supposed to put our law first. That first and foremost, you know, I don't got to choose no side when it comes to my brothers. I supposed to try to make amends and peace no matter who have died, no matter what problems have occurred, no matter what happened. We as Muslim, as People that's striving in the cause of our law are supposed to fight for peace, bro. We're supposed to fight for conciliation between our brothers. Smell me forgiveness of one another. Because we all going to die. We all going to meet our Lord. And he the biggest judge. I know the courthouse is taking us apart. But our Lord going to judge us one day. You smell me? Like, we all going to die. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Wise man, remember death. So listen, dog. I ain't on that type of time, you did, dog. I ain't gotta keep beef with no nigga being mad. This is what I'm on. I'm on Muslim time, hey, man. When it comes, to some fans say Lil Durk knew this was gonna happen, and that's why he released the song "Federal Nightmares," which outlines the rapper's federal fate. Lil Durk is known to have the smooth wordplay but grimy lyrics. But this song, Federal Nightmares, had a different feel to it. It's like he was telling a story that hadn't been played out yet. Check it out. Delete my iCloud if I think they really own me. And it's alleged Lil Durk never deleted that iCloud, and authorities have a lot of evidence against the Chicago rapper. But this is just hearsay. There's also word that Lil Durk had a plane out to Italy set to depart after some of his OTF buddies got locked up. But Lil Durk never took that flight. I guess he tried to throw authorities off. Authorities picked Lil Durk up in Florida. So Durk had it planned out, but unfortunately the plan fell through. Here's what one fan says. Dirk sent up different flight plans to throw them off, but the FBI isn't them. Another fan says, Dirk should have been left. This is crazy, seeing that one of Dirk's homeboys, OTF Jam, served 12 years behind jail walls. When Jam got released, Dirk allegedly gave him $50,000 to get on his feet. Now this is the same dude that allegedly flipped and told on Dirk and Gang. Say Cheese posted he could have been a possible informant. Here's what fans posted. So if he had a wire for years, right, then they would have known about the alleged hit before it happened. So technically, they could have prevented the murder and did just so they could build up more charges. Damn. So it looks like the fans have been building some kind of case against Dirk, allegedly. Possibly even before King Von was taken away from us. Back in 2020, it's a cold game. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this crazy situation. Some say there's more charges coming that haven't been released to the public yet on Lil Durk and his OTF gang. Lil Durk allegedly changed his name and became Muslim some months ago and tried to change his image. He also got the key to the city from a local mayor, but that key was snatched away after the authority charged Durk with the heinous crime. Dirk also gave about $150,000 to the community 
Here's what the mayor says. Little Dirk's um, mission to um, build financial literacy for children across the city and making other critical investments uh, for, the, for, the, for the children of the city um, is where his heart you know, has been. You're asking me if I should make a judgment on a black man before a full trial has actually come to fruition. I hope you do understand why it is not my position to, to determine the outcome of someone's life. Thanks. Damn, like, share, and subscribe to the best damn channel on YouTube is Rap Fire TV. <laughs> you know you like this shit. Baby, I love that outro. Yeah, I know. <laughs>